What's up guys, feeding you information here. If you're a new viewer, I am an informative channel with a personality. Today we're going to be talking finance, specifically Comcast. Now, when I saw Comcast in an article, I was like, why the heck? Tell me how this makes sense. Here's what stocks billionaires have been buying and selling. Comcast is one of the stocks that billionaires have been buying. And I was like, why would they be buying that? That is a failing company. Yeah, they have Xfinity, but there's a lot of cord cutters and they're losing a lot of service, a lot of profits and everything from that. Their EPS even shows you that. Yeah, they beat expected earnings quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three, and quarter four. But it's still, you know, there, it was going down. You can see it going down. It doesn't look very that healthy. If you base it on speculation, you have a PE of 8 and a market cap of 183. So that's a screaming buy without a doubt. I won't lie. But once again, you have to base it on a five-year gap on what the company is. And right now, it just doesn't... I, I just didn't see anything. Like, why would I buy? When I Googled, and you guys can go ahead and Google this yourself, is Comcast Corporation a buy in 2018? Go ahead and click on the Motley Fool article, read the whole thing yourself. Maybe you'll be convinced, maybe you won't. But let's go ahead and go down and sum up this argument. La 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 la, sorry about that. The combination of NBC Universal and its cable communications business gives Comcast unique advantages against less diversified competitors in both markets, yet investors seemingly ignored those strengths as the stock sold off with companies that were more heavily exposed to cord cutters. Therefore, I think that Comcast is a solid investment for 2018 and is definitely a stock to buy on any irrational dips. So, right now we're at if we go ahead and look back at this, a 7, ooh, okay, it went up a little. It was at a 7% dip. Now it's at a 6.56% dip for the month. So now would be a slightly irrational dip if you were willing to buy based on what he's saying. Now let's go ahead and get further into this, which is supported by, ooh, that was what I wanted you to hear. In the meantime, it's forward dividend yield of 1.5%. Now listen to this, guys, which is supported by a low payout ratio of 29% provides a nice bonus for patient investors. So you're telling me you want me to be patient and let this company decide which one of four quarters to pay me that dividend rather than pay me all four times. I don't like that. And to me, if a company isn't paying dividends, what does that probably mean? It probably means that they're not doing too good on the profits. It probably means that they can't afford to do so. Right now... I am invested in Disney. And Disney right now, it's only up 2%. It's got a dividend of about the same and I can tell you it always pays its dividend. PE ratio of 15, so it's higher. Market cap 158.97. I don't even know if that was higher or not, but my point is I'm comparing these two because that was actually what he did compare in the article as well as the fact that guys if you're going to choose one or the other I would absolutely go Disney if you want to have both by all means that is up to you but this was just pretty much my argument for why I wouldn't invest in Comcast and why I titled the video why you should yeah why I titled the video should you invest in Comcast because you make that decision at the end of the day guys what I say on here should not matter but in my opinion Comcast do not buy leave it alone this was feeding you information if you enjoyed the video please leave a like make sure to subscribe and have a great day